In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the layout functionality inside of Adobe Connect. I've opened up here a default meeting room, and in my default meeting room, as the host, I can see that we've got three layouts. And I can see that over here on the right-hand side, I've got something called the layout bar. I've also got a layouts menu that's available to me as a host. It's important to note that only hosts can see and change layouts. Presenters cannot see or change layouts. Participants obviously cannot see or change layouts. So this is something that only the host of a meeting is able to do. And this layouts menu shows me all of the different layouts that I have available to me. As I said, this is a default meeting and I'm given three default layouts by default. Um, I can see which one I'm on. There's a small dot beside my current layout. There's actually a couple of other ways you can see which layout you're on as well. You'll notice at the very top of the meeting menu, uh, I've got the intro to layouts is the name of my meeting, but in brackets, I've got sharing. And that's because we're actually on the sharing layout. So this is another way of determining which layout you're currently using. And then over here on the layout bar, I can see the sharing layout. It's got a shade of blue and a blue box around it, highlighting that as the current or active layout. So it's very obvious to me as a meeting host which layout we're on. And if I'd like, I can move to a different layout simply by clicking it over here on the layout bar or by going up to the layouts menu and choosing, for example, the collaboration layout to move to that layout. And as you can see, these layouts are ways of prearranging a number of different pods inside of your Adobe Connect meeting room. It saves you from having to do these edits on the fly. So I can set up all of these layouts ahead of time and they'll persist just like the Adobe Connect meeting persists. Now we're given these three by default, sharing, discussion, and collaboration, but you're not restricted to those three. You can add your own layouts, you can rename or remove the existing layouts, and let's do that right now. I'm going to start by creating a brand new layout. I'm going to do that by clicking on the plus symbol at the bottom of my layout bar. I've got two options when I'm creating a new layout. I can base it on one of the existing layouts that already exists, and that will create an exact duplicate copy of uh, an existing layout. Or I can choose to create something completely from scratch, and that will give me an empty stage on which I can add my own pods. I'm going to do that. I'm going to create a blank layout. I'm going to use this as my lobby, so I'll rename it to my lobby layout. I'll click OK, and you can see here I've got a completely empty stage on which I can start adding my own pods. So I'll go up to the pods menu. I'll add an attendees list, for example. I'll resize that. Uh, we're going to use some video, so I'll add a video pod. We'll give our participants the ability to chat, so I'll add a chat pod, maybe over to the other side. And so you can see here I'm rearranging all of these pods before the meeting begins, and I can use the alignment tools inside of Adobe Connect to make sure these pods are all aligned. And the last thing I might want to do is add a notes pod. So let's go ahead and add a brand new notes pod. So I've got something that I'm referring to here as my lobby layout. It's a new layout that didn't exist before, but now it will persist with this meeting room. So this lobby layout will be here the next time I use the meeting. It is the first layout I'm going to use, as you can see by the name lobby. So one of the things I might want to do is move it to the top of the stack. You'll notice it's currently sitting here at the very bottom in my layout bar, and that's because it's the last layout that we created. To move it to the top, I can simply drag and drop it using the layout bar. If I want to rename any of these layouts, I can simply double click them. Let's rename this discussion to Q&A. So again, double click it then move your cursor inside of that name and simply type in a new name. If I want to delete or remove any of the layouts, I can simply hover over the layout that I want to delete and you'll see that there's an X that shows up. As I move my cursor over that X, it turns red and I can click and choose to delete a layout. So we've moved from the standard default layouts into a couple of custom layouts. In this session that I'm preparing for, I've got two speakers and so I'm going to click on my sharing layout I'm going to preload one of my speaker's documents. Let me go ahead and open up the presentation that that speaker is going to be using. Now I want to prepare a layout for my second speaker, so I'm going to click on the plus symbol to create a second layout. We're going to call, uh, we're going to instead now use the duplicate an existing layout, uh, and instead of copy of sharing, we're going to rename this second speaker. I'll click OK. And you'll notice that in addition to the 
layouts being the same, all of the content comes along as well. So I actually, in this case, want to hide the share pod because we don't want to duplicate that share pod. We're going to open up a brand new share pod. We can upload a second presentation into this share pod and I'll use that drag and drop capability to move this into, into place. Use the double click functionality to rename the sharing layout to first speaker. And now I've got a flow inside of my meeting from lobby to first speaker to second speaker to q and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go back to my lobby layout and leave my meeting. So I can come back and all of these layouts will persist. A few other things I want to show you though before we end this video. First, under the layouts bar, in addition to being able to create a new layout, I've got the ability to close the layout bar completely if I want to add more space. Uh, if I open up that layout bar, you'll notice I can choose to dock this either on the left or the right, if I prefer to have it over here on the left. Looks unnatural to me there, but that's just because I'm used to having it over here on the right. I can also choose to auto hide it, so it will only show up as I move my cursor over to the right, there's a little arrow, uh, and this no longer shrinks the meeting down. I have to open it up manually so that I can click on the appropriate layout to choose to it. Um, let me open that back up. There's also an X in the top right hand corner I can use to close the layout bar. One of the other things I want to draw your attention to though is the ability to reset the layouts. Now to show you this, I'm actually going to open up the layout bar again so that we can see it on the screen. In my meeting, I've now got the lobby layout, first speaker, second speaker, and Q&A. If I choose to reset the layouts by clicking on this option in the layouts menu, that will reset it back to the template that we use to create this meeting. So I'll lose all of my customizations that I've made to the layouts. The content in the meeting will still persist. All of my uploaded content will still be uploaded in the meeting, but this meeting room will revert back to the default template, the template that we use to create this meeting. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to click on Reset Layouts. It will warn me and ask me a second time if this is something I certainly want to do. This will remove some of those customizations I've made. I'm going to go ahead and click Reset. And you'll see that we're back to the sharing layout, discussion layout, and collaboration layout. You will notice, though, the presentation is still loading. We're not losing our content. We're just reverting back to those default layouts. This is an extremely handy feature, especially if you're reusing a room. Think of educators who want to reset a classroom back to its original state for their next class. They can get rid of all of those customizations they've made over the last few cl classes and, and really clean up the room. So this is a great feature to be able to revert back uh, a meeting to its original template that it was based on. That's a quick look at the layouts functionality inside of Adobe Connect.